Okay, maybe not the best uh, screen recording ever, but uh, this step I gonna record with my smartphone. Why? Because uh, the other recordings I uh, I using remote desktop uh, control, and I now I have no internet at all. Okay, we're gonna connect to the Wi-Fi. I use Disco Cisco Wi-Fi. Um, automatically connect. Yes. Make a connection. Oh, type in uh, the password of your Wi-Fi. I'm typing in password now. Okay. And then I click next. This is a message from uh, do you want uh, this laptop uh, to, to be discovered on the Wi-Fi? I say yes. It's okay, that's fine fine for me. Okay, now it says we're gonna check uh, the network. Still not connected. Normally it's in a split of a second connected, but now it takes longer. This this also a problem. Something is uh, not going uh, really well. Okay, we got the uh, internet. Oh, uh, sorry, we got uh, connected with the Wi-Fi. It says in Dutch, but no internet. It's secured. It's connected, but no internet. And here's the icon. It says no internet. If I use uh, Firefox, for example, and I use Google, well, this steps, uh, this steps, I uh, gonna gonna show you on the remote desktop. It's better, better, better view than this. So I'll be right back on uh, the other side. Boom. Okay, we are on the laptop. This is a better, uh, better recording than my smartphone. We're going to check here uh, the icon. It says connected to the Wi-Fi Disco Cisco, but it says in Dutch, geen internet to run or no internet access. If we start Firefox or another browser. We're going to check google.com. Oh, that's <laughs> okay, that's good. I type in AMD. You see, we got internet. It loads uh, the site uh, perfectly. But still, it say no internet, internet access. But we have internet. I made uh, here uh, a uh, sheet of the steps we're gonna do. Step one to seven. Seven is to fix. And maybe it looks uh, terrible, but well, uh, we're gonna I'm gonna help you uh, through the settings step by step. And you'll see you should see this icon is again uh, the normal icon of the Wi-Fi connected. And not this strange one, or you, uh, or you have uh, internet, or you have connected to the Wi-Fi, but you have no internet. Uh, this also works, but the, in the most case, is this uh, icon that says no internet access. Okay, here we go. Step one: changing a few registry values with regedit.exe. Run it as an administrator. Okay. You go to the search bar, you type in regedit.exe. Right mouse click, run as administrator. And here we are. Okay, we must search for this path. The H local machine, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna click here, open H local. I do it so so we can see the steps. 
I'm on my mouse is not uh, really uh, <laughs> I need a new mouse. Okay, we go to the map uh, to the uh, folder system. Scroll to current control set. Services. And then we scroll down to the end. Uh, oh, too far. This setting, uh, this is the folder. Okay. Here we're gonna do uh, just some uh, adjustments. But uh, first, what we're we gonna do, we must uh, click on parameters, internet, and this is the folder. Here is uh, where the shit happened. My mouse is really not good anymore. Okay. Uh, before I do this, I make a backup of this uh, registry value. We cannot do that. We cannot uh, do easily. You can uh, create a restore point, but it's not necessary. Just right click on this uh, folder internet. Right click and say export. Then you give it a name. Before changes of changing. And the most important is uh, that you don't uh, enable this, everything, but just this. Only this selected uh, value. You hit save. And as you see here on the desktop, here we got the values before changing. So if there are uh, any mistakes, you can just simple click, double click on it. And it says, uh, do you want to import the settings? And you say yes. But I choose no. Uh, this is backup. Okay, back to the registry editor. We got uh, some things to do. We have here the active DNS probe content. We must change that, this one. Just double click on it. And this is a Microsoft IP. I type in h.h.4.4. .h That's the DNA, uh, DNS server of Google. It's more reliable. Uh, the active DNS probe content for IP vers uh, version 6. Is this one? Well, I don't gonna type that. Just copy it. Double click on it and paste it. In your case, uh, just type it over or copy and paste it. Uh, from uh, below this video, I type in uh, this. this uh, oop, and type this in. Okay, the next step is Active DNS Probe Host. Active DNF, uh, DNS Probe Host, here it is. Uh, as you can see, it all points to Microsoft. We're gonna use Google. DNS.Google. The next one is the Active DNS Probe Host. Uh, version 6 for TCP IP version 6 is this one and we type the same dns.google okay the next one is um, the active web probe host version 6 this one double click on it we're going to type in, or copy and paste in this case. Oh. Okay. 
the last step in this registry is enable active probing. If we look here, we see a zero, that means there is no probing. We're going to activate that. Double click on it and make a one. One means enable. If we close down the registry editor, it saves it uh, automatically. We're going to check it once again. If it remembers the last, the last path, and you see everything is, uh, is changed. So that's okay. I call it uh, saving uh, the new register file, uh, values, but it saves automatically. Okay, now we're going to create a batch file with notepad.exe. Type here and at the search bar notepad.exe. Just click on it. Now we're going to make a batch file and we're going to I'm going to type in some commands net uh, net sa win suck oh, win suck reset this resets uh, the AP win suck on the Windows 10 uh, device so it resets your uh, win suck AP uh, to the connection then I uh, type in pause, why pause? Um, at any step, if uh, this uh, step is done, it's gonna pause so I can see on the, on the screen uh, if there are any issues or if it is successful. So we type in pause, next value is net sh int and means internal IP this IP configuration and we type in reset that's uh, we go into the next command pause and then we type in IP config flush DNS it flush the DNS of your uh, uh, internet and the last step is pause and we type in shutdown minus F minus R minus T zero zero uh, this means uh, shut down with a force when when the stand with a, with a reboot the R, the R means reboot and the T stands for the time if I type here in 60, that means 60 seconds, one minute. But I type in 00, zero so Windows is restart uh, immediately. Now the last step is uh, save, if a file, uh, save as. I use the desktop, that's uh, easier. Okay, this is very important. It's, uh, it says here, uh, save as. You click on it and you, and you click uh, all, uh, all files. Then you give it a name. Uh, yeah, what is a nice name? Um, repair. Repair, yeah. <laughs> repair uh, connection okay man okay the, the most important is dot and then bad that means uh, that uh, it's going to make a batch file I say save you can close this and you see here repair connection okay we have creating uh, the batch of file with a notepad. I see me typing it in. Yeah. Show you once again uh, the screen. NetSR um, WinSock reset, pause. NetSR int IP reset, pause. IP config. 
slash flush DNS pause shutdown minus F minus R minus T zero zero okay run it as an administrator this batch file that's very important and that's all that's the fix let uh, take a look at this uh, icon it's still say no internet access but uh, connected to the Wi-Fi. Okay, here comes the step. Right, uh, right mouse click on this batch we created and run as an administrator. Here we go. Uh, and do you do you know it for sure? Yes. Okay, the first step we see the net uh, SRI windsock reset successfully. Okay, press any key to continue. This is the second uh, command, net SR and IP reset, it's all ok. Uh, the next, uh, uh, press any key to continue, successfully flush the DNS resolver cache, so it all looks great. And if I now uh, hit uh, any key, uh, Windows is gonna reboot, and here we go. Okay, this step I'm gonna record the work on my smartphone again because I can't uh, connect. Oh, here it is uh, already. It's connected, so the fix is working. We're gonna log in. Loading profile. Here's a desktop. And look at this, look at this, that's, that's the shit baby, click on it, Cisco Disco, oh this is uh, what is this, and this something else, nothing to do with this, we click on the uh, Wi-Fi icon, so as you can see it is a normal Wi-Fi icon, and it says, Oh. Disco Cisco Wi-Fi. Yeah, that, that is good. It's uh, connected. It's secure. It says in Dutch. And uh, it's connected. Uh, and no messages uh, from uh, no internet access at all. Okay, last step we. I'm going to click Firefox. Okay, checking our internet works. It already works, but testing it one again. I type some something in, and it yes, it works. Okay, that was the fix. I hope um, I, I hope uh, it uh, helped you. Because I see, uh, I saw a lot of uh, complaints on the internet, and Microsoft didn't fix it. Um, it's not really a bug or error; it's more a glitch, I think. So there it is. It's connected, and um, for the, I'm gonna check it once again. I disconnect it, I'm gonna disconnect it, and I connect, reconnect, yeah, connected, secured, Wi-Fi, all good in the wood, okay, now, see you next time, bye bye, <laughs> yeah, and uh, from my dead folks, Hey jongens, de ballen. Dat was weer een leuke fix. Lang geleden dat ik een keer zoiets heb gedaan. Hey jongens, de ballen. En houdoe. En bedankt.